thank you very much for the tip. And just wondering how Tom got out of Kabul. Seems like he became an asylum seeker in Germany for, for a minute. Tom, can you answer anything on that? Yeah, I was seeking asylum for a bit after I got back on the old Judge Dredd Express from Kabul. Kabul bush stop. Tell you, there was a bush stop at the bush stop out in Kabul. I managed to get my hands, <laughs> my hands on a, a couple of Kabulaks. Brought them back to the bar. Fucking sold them in Galway. Then got the first ticket out of there to Germany. It was lovely, lovely stuff. And, uh, look, tell you, it was sweaty. It was hot. It wasn't nice. It stank at times. But that was the, the lengths I was willing to go to. To fucking... To, to see the transportation network in Germany. And I want to say thanks... Check that out. And then we've got another... Bierstein. And it's quite similar to something you might have seen when you were away abroad, Tom. Yeah, a few Steiners. You can see them in shops all over Germany. That was uh, part of their heritage. They loved beer. But it's funny, the Germans, they managed to get a lot of work done and still go on the piss as well at the same time. So that was kind of what attracted me to the, uh, the whole German question as well, aside from the transport, was the Teutonic ability to work hard and play hard as well and go absolutely full lock on the sauce after uh, doing what they've done. Yeah, they also did a lot of bad stuff as well, Tam. Would you attribute any of that to being on the pace? Unfortunately, well, I mean, I was going to say unfortunately not, but I don't think that would make sense because it's... Uh, if, is it unfortunate that they committed atrocities? It's just unfortunate. Look, I just want to underscore the fact that their atrocities were unfortunate as a whole. And whether or not they were on the piss while they did any of that stuff is neither here nor there. So um, that's, me, that's my opinion on it anyway. Yeah, I'm glad that you clarified that as well, Tom. It seemed, it seemed like you were making light of the uh, genocide based on the fact that they were pissed. What I was trying to say was that, you know, I don't think that you could have actually done any of that stuff was pissed, but, I mean, it would actually make sense because could you have done any... It, it's even more astounding that they were fucking sober when they did it. Yeah, fucking scum. Scumbags, you know? Scumbags. Thanks very much there, Steph. And Doyle, lack of wit, thank you very much. And main Irish cook, very, very kind of you, lads. And uh, somebody said Hitler was a sauce fiend. I'm fucking glad it said sauce there because I thought for a second somebody had tipped in saying Hitler was a sound fiend. And we know well that that was not the fucking case at all. He was a drug-addled scumbag. Yeah, I just want to second that drug-addled scumbag remark. By the, the last days of uh, his fucking tenure, apparently he was gillied up to the nines on Wowie Pops and Raj Sauce. He had a doctor coming into his chamber every fucking day, jabbing him in the arm, pumping him full of the uppers, downers, poppers and everything. You're telling us that Hitler was on the poppers, was he? Hey, he couldn't fucking stop. He was like a, <laughs> he was like a pipe of Pringles, the cunt. And surely that's before Pringles were even invented. Was that the crack that, or did they, did they even know about that in Germany? Yes, the Germans, they had all the secrets, didn't they? They're the secrets of the Nazis. Apparently they fucking, they, they had the recipe for Pringles. And, uh, but Einstein had it before them. And, and that was one of the fucking uh, big wins of the war is that the, the recipe for Pringles was discovered before, and harnessed by the Yanks before, uh, before the fucking Nazis could get a hold of it. It's amazing what you learn, you know? You don't really uh, read about it in the history books, but I suppose a lot of this information is only coming to light nowadays as well, you know? Uh, here we go with the boulder. It's the boulder, boys. So sprint. <laughs> wow, quick time event. Quick time event. Absolutely sensational piece of pudding play there. We get a fucking cream play of that time. Look at him going. He was only, you're only just realizing you'd never, you never knew that this was a quick time event. 
based on the keyboard, you probably thought that it was all about the mouse, and then a D and an A, dodge, wow. dodgeball, lovely stuff altogether.